Hey guys, it's Kendra. So welcome back to our channel and I have another perfume video for you guys that I really wanted to share sooner than later. And after I saw that you guys enjoyed the niche fragrances video that I recently did talking about all my favorite niche fragrances that are actually worth your money, I decided that a designer version of that was very necessary. So I hope you guys enjoy this one. I do think nowadays designer fragrances are very, very highly priced especially more than they used to be like perfumes have always been more on the expensive side but if you look at the designer prices today they pretty much look almost identical to some niche fragrances not all but some niche fragrance prices are very comparable to some designer fragrances nowadays and i just feel like they're all not worth the money especially for what you get especially because a lot of them smell very similar and I do think the ones I have to share today are all unique in their own special way, but you're still going to love them in a universal way. I think they're all very crowd pleasing and th there's something in here for everybody, like I always say on all my perfume videos. But I do personally think that all 10 of these designer fragrances are like blind by worthy. That's how much I love these. Like I will buy these over and over without thought because they're that good and I love each and every single one of them in their own way. So I'm just gonna stop rambling and hop right into the video. Okay, so the first fragrance is a very like perfect fruity vanilla scent. If you guys love like warm, almost a gourmand like fruity vanilla, you're gonna love this one. And it has fantastic projection. And I also repurchased this recently because I just knew I needed the big bottle in my collection. And that is Jean-Paul Gaultier La Belle La Parf Parfume. I hope I'm saying that right. I used to have like the one ounce version of this, like the little baby bottle. And as soon as I smelled it, I was like, I'm gonna get the big one because it's that good. And I finally got it. And you guys would love this if you're into pear perfumes. Like if you like a pear scent, it's a very, very sexy pear perfume. It's not like in the fruity, like fresh family. It's definitely more of a gourmand, like warm pear scent. It smells like pears with like, like a vanilla glaze on them. If that makes sense, it's gourmand. So it's gonna be in that family. It has a very sweet pear like finish. It's not like a fresh pear. If you guys are a fan of like that perfect go-to date night warm, you're gonna love this. I'm using so many adjectives to describe this. And even though this has a very simple composition of notes, on the skin, it smells way more special. It's just so decadent. It has tonka bean, I'm sure. I think it has vanilla. It has pear. So if you guys have tried the original version of La Belle, I think you would love this one even more. If you like a very intense version of that scent, if you want something a little bit darker, then you would like this version of it. Because I love the original La Belle. It's like the perfect girly pear sweet perfume this one is just like amped up a few notches this is also perfect for year round at night and perfect like for every day in the winter time i think my next fragrance is what i would like to consider my ride or die gourmand and i will forever wear this and she's just so beautiful and sexy and that is Dior Hypnotic Poison. I've talked about this perfume way too many times. There's a huge dent in this. Like you guys probably can't see it, but I'm looking at it and it's literally down here. I've used so much of it. I will forever repurchase this, like I said, because it's like the perfect powdery, sweet gourmand that's not too gourmand, if that makes sense. I think the powdery dry down gives it like a really pretty fluffiness that I absolutely love that's like perfect for every day. Like it's something that wouldn't be too offensive to others. It's not too polarizing. It's just like the perfect, sweet, pretty, airy perfume. Super feminine, very girly. If you guys are into sweet scents, but you don't like a sticky syrupy kind of sweet, even though some people do say that this is that kind of sweet for them, to me it's not. And I guess because I have other sweet fragrances in my collection, that this one isn't that sweet in my opinion. It's the perfect sweet. It has a ton of notes, but it smells more simple than that. It's kind of like the opposite of Le Parfum from Jean-Paul Gaultier. This one has the simple notes, but it smells more complex. And this one has a ton of notes, but it smells more simple. So that's kind of weird, but it does have quite a few notes. Like I said, this does have coconut, plum, and apricot in the top notes. I smell none of those in the top notes like at all and every time I spread I'd be trying to find it I'm like do I no 
So this does have some Brazilian rosewood, jasmine, some tuberose. I mostly smell just the base notes in this one and I feel like the top and the middle notes are honestly like irrelevant because they don't project at all in this scent. I only smell the base notes which is why I feel like this has like a simplicity to it in a way that doesn't smell as complex as what they claim is in this one. And I have a lot of perfumes with rose in them and Lily of the Valley and I usually can point that note out in a lot of my fragrances. This one I don't so I don't smell any of the fruit or the florals except the jasmine. I do smell the jasmine in this one which is why I say it's more of a sweet fluffy gourmand because the base notes are absolutely taking over this perfume. So the base notes are vanilla, almond, sandalwood, and musk. That's mostly what you're gonna smell. If you guys like a fluffy airy scent that's sweet and warm, you're going to adore Hypnotic Poison by Dior. I think you guys will really enjoy this one. And like I said, it's an oldie but a goodie. Like this perfume has been around for so, so long, but it's for a reason that it's like a cult classic in a way from the brand. Like I will have like bottles and bottles of this forever because it's quite timeless. Like you can wear this 10, 20 years from now and you'll still smell fantastic. Next is another Dior scent, but this one is a newer Dior scent, and that is Dior J'adore. This is from the J'adore collection, and this one is the Doe. I'm not saying that right because it's French, but the one in the milky white bottle. This one came out, I'm pretty sure, quite recently. Not like last year, but it's definitely not an older one. Like I said, this is one of the newer ones, and this is a great freshie. Perfect if you're looking for that perfect, crisp, clean white t-shirt everyday kind of scent if you're not into like the super sweet warm kind of perfumes if you want like a fresh floral that's on the milky creamier side you would absolutely love this like this perfume makes me feel so put together and clean it's like the perfect fresh out of the shower without being too soapy it's so gorgeous like you just feel so clean and feminine and sexy this is a sexy clean i absolutely love this i got the the small bottle when i first got it but i'm definitely going to be getting the really big one because now that i know i love this like i i can't get enough and speaking of can't get enough the formulation of this is like a more milky texture i don't think it has any alcohol in this one and if it does not much because i'm looking at like the liquid right here and it's pretty milky it's not just the bottle that's milky because when it comes out, it comes out almost like it has like hints of lotion in it. So it's more of the fragrance than like alcohol in my opinion. So if you guys have like this formulation, like this actual perfume, you know what I'm talking about? Like when you spray it, it doesn't come out just like a regular liquid mist. You can actually see the milkiness of the, the perfume. I also love that you can't spray like too much of this is like you can spray so many sprays and it still not be overpowering like when i spray this kelsey asks me what i'm wearing every single time so this is a huge compliment getter for clean lovers like obviously the sweeter perfumes are automatically going to get a compliment because i feel like those are more crowd pleasing because i've gotten compliments on pretty much all these i'm going to talk about today so this is sweet in like a floral way not at all in like a warm vanilla way it does have some jasmine some back some green notes which is what i smell a lot of which is why i said it smells like a fresh clean but not soapy it's very just like fresh almost like a dewy leafy kind of smell and it also has magnolia honeysuckle neroli and rose this is a gorgeous milky floral i would describe this as a milky floral so if you guys are looking for like a new fresh clean scent that doesn't smell like soap this is your girl like you need it so good next is another like perfect flirty date night sexy kind of perfume that's typically my scent profile because i feel like those were the best on me and i just really enjoy those smells the most in my collection as far as like my more clean fresh scents i have to be like in a specific mood to wear those but these kind of scents i'm always in the mood to wear so the next one is from jimmy choo and this one is called i want you forever y'all where have I been? This perfume has been around for quite some time and I've wanted to try it for a while, but I just hadn't gotten around to it because I was trying to use up, you know, my collection that I had already. 
but I just had to get it at the end of last year and I got it from Ulta. This is like the little baby bottle. And as you can see, I've used quite a bit for it to be pretty new. And this is the perfect warm cherry vanilla scent. And I know cherry has been overdone a lot recently in the past like two, three years, but this one, you need it. It's so, so good. And especially in the designer world, I feel like Mish has got the cherry perfumes on lock. But Jimmy Choo did their thing with this. This has some bitter almond and rose in the top notes. The middle notes has cherry, vetiver, and jasmine. And the base notes has some vanilla, tonka bean, oak moss, and amber. So gorgeous and sexy and sweet. If you guys are into like a sweet, dark cherry kind of perfume that's still on the floral side, I still smell that rose and the jasmine in, in this. And there's not too much cherry. Like it's just the perfect balance of like all the notes blending together is not too much of one thing so i highly recommend this one if you don't want too much cherry but just like a sprinkle like a splash of cherry in there you for sure smell the rose and the tonka bean and the vanilla but it's not a vanilla perfume i can't describe it but for sure has fantastic projection again this is a compliment getter people love this one very sexy and you're gonna smell quite addicting and sweet so love this next we have a perfect summer designer scent that i will forever wear every single summer i say summer specifically because i have so many scents that i would wear year round and this one is not one of them i'm gonna explain why so this is ocean de joy from Giorgio armani and the one with the blue cap the light light blue not the mint one People get those two confused. Aqua de Joy and Ocean de Joy are two different fragrances. The Ocean one is what I'm talking about. This one, perfect for summer. If you are a fruity floral girl and you love to smell juicy and fresh, this is your girl. This one is so, so good. If you like pear, if you like a sparkling kind of pear, like if you're into like all the green fruits, if you like a pear apple kind of vibe, you're gonna absolutely be obsessed with this one. As you can see, this is pretty much gone. Don't worry, I do have a backup because I had to get a backup as soon as I purchased this one. And I have the big backup. I got the 3.4 ounce because it's that good. And you can spray as much as you want of this. You're gonna get compliments, especially if you love fruity scents. This is so, so good and fresh. This does have pear, it has some citrus notes. It does have green notes, which is why I said it has a fresh cleanness to it. It's like a fruity, fresh, clean scent. But the pear still gives it like enough juiciness to where you still smell like delicious because I do like a clean scent that still smells yummy. And that's this one. The middle notes, it does have some water jasmine. So it's more of like an aquatic floral and it has salt. Lily of the Valley rose in the middle and the base has musk and sandalwood. So, so good. And it has a sophisticated like essence about it that's not juvenile or too, too young. Cause I know some fruity floral scents can go very junior, like very youthful in a way where you don't feel like womanly or sexy wearing it. No, this is still in the womanly sexy family. Just if you want like a more watery, like aquatic kind of fruitiness love it and if you like sandalwood you're gonna love the dry down because you for sure smell it the musk and the sandalwood so so good absolutely gorgeous fruity floral scent and if you guys are looking for a signature summer perfume what what are you waiting for like go ahead and add it to your cart for summer because you're gonna be obsessed next is one that is quite redundant but i will continue to talk about it this is a video of the top 10 and I have quite a lot of perfumes and this always seems to make it in almost every perfume video, especially recently. And that is Versace Crystal Noir. Perfect, unique, sexy date night perfume or just a signature sexy nighttime perfume. You can just wear this at night at any occasion if you're going to dinner, movies, event like this more on the fancy side. This is all purpose nighttime perfume in my opinion. So if you guys are looking for like a fresh nighttime perfume, if you like florals, if you like something more on the unique side, if you're not a fan of like super sweet gourmand perfumes, girl, get this. 
This is the EDT. I know some people ask me if the EDT or the EDP is better. I have both and I love them both. They smell the same to me um, and they have the same lasting power. Even though this is an EDT, it does have great projection and I am an over sprayer, so maybe that's why. You're gonna love this if you like a fresh floral nighttime scent. Cause a lot of the times fresh can go very daytime, but this one is for sure a dark scent. So the top notes are pepper, ginger, and cardamom. It has coconut, gardenia, orange blossom, and peony in the middle notes. I for sure smell the peony and the coconut in the middle notes. Thank God I do not smell the gardenia because y'all know I do not like gardenia. It's one of my least favorite notes. It does have that in here, but a lot of the other notes overpower the scent. Also in the top notes, I do smell the spicier notes like the pink pepper, ginger, and the cardamom work really well together. It is a spicy scent so if you guys don't like spicy then maybe don't get this one but the spiciness gives it like that super seductiveness in my opinion and the base notes do have some sandalwood musk and amber so good i really enjoyed this one in the cold months though i'm not gonna lie like when i smell this like i smell like a leather jacket i smell like a super like edgy girl who likes all black that's most of my closet and I smell like a sexy, seductive woman. So if you like to smell fresh, spicy, and seductive, what are you waiting for? Next is the perfect like go-to sweet scent if you don't know what to wear and you wanna smell super feminine and sophisticated. And that is Mon Guerlain Intense. You can get the original. I prefer the Intense because I just like how sweet it is. It's a little sweeter than the original. The original is sweet, but it's more floral to my nose anyway. And the intense version just has a, like a sweeter scent to it. It does have some lavender. So if you're not a fan of lavender, um, I would like test it out in the store, like smell it first. This isn't a safe blind bite if you don't like lavender, but if you don't mind it, then I highly recommend, especially if you're like into more irisy lavenders. It has like the iris and the lavender in this work really well together because iris is a very powdery um note that i enjoy in a lot of my perfumes so this does have lavender like i said mandarin orange and bergamot in the top notes in the middle notes it does have some tahitian and madagascar vanilla as well as iris jasmine and rose i do smell the rose as well and then the base notes have some patchouli licorice be careful with that licorice note because it can be quite polarizing to some people but to other people who like a stronger scent they don't mind it and i don't really mind it in this one in particular it has benzoin australian sandalwood and white musk so this does have quite a few notes but it's very sophisticated perfect for like the everyday workplace kind of environment and you're gonna get complimented because it has a very unique sweetness to it super feminine it's like an ultra feminine type scent and it's weird because it has lavender and lavender is a note where most colognes have lavender in it and this still smells feminine to me, even with the lavender. So highly recommend if you want to smell, you know, super womanly and sophisticated without smelling mature and it's blended extremely well. It's not too sweet to the point where it's like sickly sweet because it does have two types of vanilla in there. But I think those work fantastic because you can smell them the most and the dry down, which is what I love. So I for sure recommend this if you're looking for a sophisticated sweet. Next, I do have another sophisticated perfume that's perfect for every day, but this is perfect for the woman who wants to smell super fresh and floral. If you like a classic floral and you just wanna smell put together and elegant, but modern, like not like a vintage floral, like a more modern floral. You're gonna love Idol from Lancome. This is the original one. They have so many flankers after this one, but I love the original. I do want to smell the Aura one. I have not smelled that one. The Nectar is really good as well. But the original is still like top notch for me because it's like the perfect blend of beautiful, beautiful notes. It does have a hint of fruitiness in there, but it's mostly florals, like the type of scent that it is. It's absolutely stunning. Like you're going to smell pretty. Like this smells like the pretty girl. So if you just want to smell pretty, put together, fresh, it's like the perfect scent that the pretty girl would wear. She just always smells good, if that makes sense. That's what I would describe this one to be. So the top notes in this are pear, bergamot, and pink pepper, 
which gives it that fruitiness but the middle notes do have some rose and jasmine which i love rose and jasmine those are like two of my favorite florals and most of my perfumes so you're gonna see a theme so far obviously and there's been a lot of rose and jasmine i realized but in my defense this is a designer fragrances video and designer brands tend to use a lot of rose and jasmine and vanillas in their scent profiles because y'all know designers love fruity florals but this one does have still like a modern take and the base notes has some white musk vanilla patchouli and cedar so you for sure smell the cedar this even though this has vanilla it doesn't smell like a sweet kind of like warm vanilla perfume in the dry down i for sure still smell like the musk i don't smell the patchouli which is quite surprising because patchouli is a quite polarizing note and i can point it out in a lot of perfumes but this one i i don't really smell it so if you don't like patchouli you will still love this one because i don't really smell it that much if you like cedar like if you like a woody floral then girl you need it like i said this is the pretty girl scent you just need it speaking of the pretty girl scent this next one is a classic cult pretty girl pretty woman fragrance that you either love or hate and i feel like there's a club of us who wear this and if you own this perfume and you smell it on someone else you're like she's wearing chloe you're just gonna know the scent as soon as you smell it it's quite distinctive which i love about this perfume because it has a very unique scent profile that does not smell like anything in my collection kind of like how i describe um crystal noir this smells nothing like what i'm about to talk about but i'm saying specifically this doesn't smell like anything in my collection like i can't compare it to anything and i feel like that about chloe the original chloe edp from the chloe brand this is extremely clean rosy fresh like you need this if you want to smell like a put together lady who has her life together together you know like she has a retirement account you know she has a savings her car's paid off you know like i said you can for sure notice the scent profile if you smell it on someone else this projects absolutely wonderful especially for like a classic fresh floral kind of perfume because more of my like vanilla like heavier scents obviously they're gonna project better but this one you don't really need that many sprays to smell it because of the type of like floral that it is it's just blended so well and i just can't get enough of this i've been wearing this for years uh this is probably like maybe my third fourth bottle i've been wearing chloe for a long time it's the perfect like spring summer like daytime perfume but it for sure can be a signature scent as well so chloe has peony lychee and freesia in the top notes and freesia is one of those notes where it does a really good job at blending with other florals while you can, while still being able to smell freesia i feel like freesia is one of those notes where like and you have like a lot of clean scents you can kind of point out freesia i can and i can smell it in this for sure i smell the peony which is why it's the first top note like you for sure smell that peony in the opening and if you guys don't know peony is one of my favorite like notes in my floral perfumes uh, quite a lot of my floral perfumes have peony in them and i love like that scent it does have lychee and the middle notes have some rose lily of the valley and magnolia i did mention that this is like the perfect rosy fresh perfume and you smell the rose and the base notes have virginia cedar and amber this is a huge compliment getter and i do think men and women tend to love this one just because of the unique profile that this has and it's weird because men tend to love sweeter scents especially like with vanilla and this doesn't have vanilla so i for sure recommend this if you want something that does not have vanilla that's a huge compliment getter again fresh like a rosy feminine put together scent so absolutely love this one and last but not least is probably one of the most popular perfumes that like has come out within like the last i want to say like six years and this is the it girl perfume it will forever be the it girl perfume in my opinion when it comes to designer fragrances just because of like the crowd pleasing scent profile and the way that this is blended together is absolutely stunning and i will forever repurchase this one as well and that is the valentino donna born in rome gorgeous gorgeous fruity gourmand perfume if you love vanilla if you like fruity scents if you like something that still has like a hint of clean in there 
this is it. Like this is the perfectly blended designer perfume that doesn't smell basic. None of these smell basic, by the way. That's why they're in this video. But this one is like probably like a go-to like designer scent profile. Like when you look at the notes, you're like, yeah, this is a designer scent. But when you smell her, so good, so sexy, very sweet. Like there's no doubt about it, this is a sweet scent. But there's something like the undertone of this has like kind of like a dash of like a cologne sexiness about it. It's like just a hint. Still feminine, by the way. The top notes are black currant, pink pepper, and bergamot. And the black currant is going to project so much in this perfume. The middle notes have jasmine. Again, see, jasmine. I'm telling y'all, jasmine and vanilla are like the designer's like go-to notes. Jasmine Sunback, I don't know what the difference is. Jasmine Tea, it also has bourbon vanilla, cashmere, and gaiac wood in the base. The bourbon vanilla and the gaiac wood and the cashmere are what's probably giving it like that sexiness that I keep smelling, like the, the gaiac wood and the cashmere. It has like a smoothness to it that's blended impeccably well for a designer scent because I do feel like some designer scents can be quite like sharp and when it comes to like the sweetness it's not as smooth as a lot of niche perfumes which is why I do really love niche perfumes especially for what you get they're like blended a little smoother to me but this one can hold a candle to niche perfumes like when it comes to the profile so so good lasts so long i do have like a little mini version of this in my purse and if i've worn this like if i spray this on the beginning of the day i really don't need to reapply it but i just do anyway compliment getter so good and you for sure smell the sweetness because when i was complimented on this perfume i got you smell so sweet and good it's a sweet perfume but you're gonna love her like this is the it girl like i said the popular girl you know she's just that girl so get this if you want to smell like the it girl. Okay guys, so that wraps up my top 10 designer fragrances that I think are worth your money. I will have every perfume linked in the description box. Let me know if you guys already own some of these and like where you like to wear these to. Like what's your go-to like girls night, what you wear to church, what you wear at home. Cause I do like to wear perfume at home. Like some of these, like I like to sit around the house and just smell like this. I wear it at home all the time. Um, just what are your go-tos in this top 10 list that you heard me talk about that you absolutely love? What are you going to try if you don't already have it? Because you won't regret it. And if you don't have any designer perfumes, like if you're starting out with perfumes, I think this is the perfect like starter collection. So if you guys are looking for a starter collection, here you go. And if you guys want me to make a part two version of this, I can. If not, then I won't. Like, it's up to you guys. It doesn't make a difference to me because these are that good. But I do have quite a few designer scents in my collection. So let me know if you guys want to see more designer perfume videos or more niche ones. Let me know what you prefer. And thank you guys so much for watching. Again, thank you for everybody showing love to my fragrance videos. And I will see you guys in the next one.